Kia ora everyone, how are you? Um, I wanted to check in today just to catch you up with some of the things I've been seeing in clinic this week. It's been really super interesting. So um, bearing in mind, I know I always um, start by saying this, often the things that I will see in people in clinic, I'm also observing in myself. That's just how it works. But this has been um, coming up quite persistently this week and it's been a lot of tension around people's diaphragm so right under the rib cage and pushing down in towards the right hip so I've seen quite a few of those and personally that's something I definitely have been working with as well with myself um, and a lot of it seemed to be tied very much to an energy of breaking free from the old if you want and with the women that I've seen because it's actually mostly been women I've seen with this presentation um, particularly in the last week but almost like a change of identity and perception of themselves moving forward within their own femininity, if you like, and the woman that they choose to be, but how past foundations, perhaps not even from their lifetime, have come in to slightly skew their path or the foundations that are in place neurologically are perhaps not supportive to where they wanted to be going. And it's really presenting quite interestingly through diaphragm. So I think that's a really interesting one. I mean, diaphragm obviously really important for the deep belly breaths for massaging through your digestive system. And one of the things that really came up quite clearly was almost an avoidance of part of the digestive system because it's a great place to store emotional energy, to store um, emotional neurology, if you like, way that maybe things that have been unhandled or things that kind of been tucked to the side that are sitting sort of in that subconscious mind just kind of ticking away. Um, and often it'll present quite um, strongly as uh, issues around food, intolerances, um, a tendency to emotional eat or um, those sort of things. So that's been coming up very, very predominantly this week and super interesting when you think about a lot of the shifts that are happening around us in the world anyway and how we're making decisions around that for our own lives. So um, what we're physically holding on to will be instrumental in how we make those decisions. So awareness of that's really important and physical uh, symptoms, if you want, for, um, can be really useful in helping us see the things that perhaps lie unseen in terms of our conscious mind. So digestion being a massive one emotionally and representing a lot, as I said, this week for me in clinic through diaphragm tightness. So one of the things um, that you can do to help with that, obviously deep belly breaths really important, but um, just kind of getting out, moving, stretching, not having too much time hunched over like a phone or a laptop, which I know it's something that a lot of us do and hands up, I can be, be the same. So not pointing fingers there at all. But also don't forget that that posture, it also kind of, it leads us to kind of shutting down. So it's not an expressive position, is it? It's actually quite a tight position. So it's also another example of how everyday take, uh, tasks and things that we do can tighten up a particular area. But that area can also be already holding on to something. So you can get like the double, trippy, quadruple whammy of all that stuff. So and the way that I work now, I like to see that and consider all of those things in terms of the physical, the emotional, the mental, the spiritual. You know, what are we connected to or disconnected from because of this area? What's that storing for us or what needs to be resolved or handled? What things are we doing in our daily life day to day in terms of our work posture or, you know, exercise that we're doing to support us? What are we putting into our bodies and our digestive system? Have our eating habits changed? Have we noticed habits slipping in? So I guess that's that's more how I work these days. And um, rather than um, feeling like I need to put distance between the things that I'm feeling and experiencing and what my clients are coming in with, I always find it interesting to look at the similarities as well. One, because that shows awareness and it means that you're not just going in to, to treat yourself, which to be fair, half the time, that's kind of what we're doing if we're going to be really honest about it. But awareness around that means you can step back and see what that means for that person. So um, this week, um, to summarise really, so the diaphragm, um, and also one important, really cool fact about the diaphragm is that when we're developing embryologically, we actually um, develop our diaphragm in our neck. And then what happens is the diaphragm descends down to its position just underneath the rib cage, but the nerves for the diaphragm remain here. So it ends up 
having um, a nerve supply from the middle of the neck from C3, 4 and 5, the phrenic nerve, which supplies our diaphragm. So neck and diaphragm issues can come hand in hand um, because of the way that the nerve travels through there. So always super interesting to look at all those little bits and pieces and obviously the more we know the more we learn the more we have access to in terms of our knowledge base and the wisdom we can impart to our clients and support them and ourselves <laughs> same thing so um that's my share for today so um just looking back at the diaphragm um we learned about the nerve supply just how is it holding on to things emotionally and just breathing patterns of course is another big one so are we shallow breathing? Are we not wanting to breathe down into what we're holding here? Or is the tightness of this area preventing us from taking those big breaths or that exploration into what's going on through here as well? So, so yes, um, I suppose the question to ask is how are our foundations supporting or not supporting our changes or choices that we're wanting to make at the moment? And it is a super intense time. I mean, this whole year has been super intense anyway, but um, from a personal opinion, but just from the people around me, I guess it's just the little things you can do to slightly unpick some of those those tight areas in terms of understanding why they might have been there in the first place. So yeah, I'm going to stop talking now and um, have a fab day and I'll talk to you again soon.